Thank you, Kate. And as Tony mentioned earlier, the approaching storm does have the potential to bring with it wind damage and power outages. And across the state, DOT crews have been out and about all day long, making sure roads are clear ahead of the storm. National Grid already gearing up at CCRI in Warwick, adding additional crews and moving equipment to make sure they're ready to go once the storm hits. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen has more on these preps now, live from the hurricane barrier. Steve. Oh, Mike and Shannon, crews did not just start getting ready today. With how much rain we expect, they have been working all week to make sure they're prepared. In Providence, you might have heard shovels scraping on asphalt outside your door. When we saw the rain totals and the accumulations potentially over an inch, we were concerned. Providence DPW Director Michael Borg says that's his crews working nonstop to make sure drains are cleared. Work that's been going on for days. Flushing lines, right? Some of these making sure that they're clear that when the water does get into the lines that it has somewhere to flow and it doesn't back up. But it's not just Providence crews working around the clock getting ready for Friday's storm. We are all hands on deck and we're ready to go for this storm that's coming in. National Grid was loading up their trucks with replacement poles, knowing that likely they'll be needed. They expect the storm to potentially knock out power to 9% of Rhode Island for up to 72 hours. We've got over 140 crews that'll be coming to Rhode Island to help us with the restoration efforts if needed. That includes 60 internal crews and over 80 street crews. SkyDrone 12 showed you rivers Wednesday before they swell from the rain. The Rhode Island Department of Transportation says they'd like you to stay home if you can. There could be areas that the system just can't take the volume of water that's coming. So there could be areas of, of water on the highways if they see it slow down. They say crews are covering the state, making sure the roads are as ready as possible for when the sunshine turns to rainfall. On Eyewitness News at 6, we head over to TF Green Airport, where we caught up with several travelers who were trying to leave town before the storm hits. Reporting live outside the hurricane barrier in Providence, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Kate. And crews away from the coast also taking preparations, whether it's clearing storm drains, patching potholes, or getting utility crews in place. And others are just looking to get out of town before the storm gets here. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen continues our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage live from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Steve? Well, that's right, Mike. It's not just crews that are getting ready for this storm. Everyday Rhode Islanders are also trying to leave right now. Rhode Island at TF Green Airport I actually caught up with several of them today as they were trying to get out of town before the clouds move in. And I found out that several airlines are waiving their change of flight fees because of this storm. Today? Yes. Right. Ed Novus wasn't sure he would be one of the many in line at TF Green Airport Thursday until he saw the forecast. I wanted to get out of here before the weather set in. He told me after helping his son and daughter-in-law move to Rhode Island, he wants to get back to Texas for a sailing trip. Leaving Friday, he believes, is no longer an option. Uh, when I saw the storms coming in and, you know, and you got 60, 70 mile an hour winds, that's, uh, that's the kind of weather as a sailor you stay out of, whether you're on land or on the water. So, yeah. It's or in the sky. Out, or in the sky, yes. Leaving the sky to the roads, crews were making sure all drains are clear in Providence. Making sure that the city's ready for this storm. RIDOT doing the same on the highways, saying they're even patching potholes to get ready. We know that when this rain comes with the ground being as soft as it is, potholes are going to happen as well. And we spotted National Grid trucks loading up with replacement poles. They say up to 9% of Rhode Island residents could lose power. Is it the wind you're most concerned about? You know, the wind obviously is a major factor, uh, the heavy rains as well, you know, they'll saturate the ground, which, you know, could make the leaves a little bit, or the trees a little more vulnerable. And National Grid told me they have called in more than 140 crews from out of our area for this storm. All hands on deck. Their advice, make sure all of your electronics are charged just in case you lose power. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steve, and count on the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team to keep you covered during this severe weather alert. You can get the latest forecast online at WPRI.com, and be sure to follow the Pinpoint weather team on Facebook and Twitter for updates.